Last time on Shadow Peace, the fleet of death members started their conflict with the senior officers of the Red Hair Pirates. After the veteran pirates managed to separate the two Sins and Tyr, the matchups were already decided. Gap vs. Hyredine, Lime Juice vs. Cavendish, and Building Snake vs. Tyr. The Sin of Pride is already covered in cuts and bruises. The Airblade Howl from Howling Gap caught him off guard and pushed the start of the battle into a disadvantageous situation for him. Hyredine knows better than to underestimate his opponent, so he pulls something from his back. When it's stored back there, it works as protection. But actually, there are new gauntlets King Odin gave him as the winner of the tournament. He was only promised one wish, but as he chose a selfless action, the ruler of Elbaf decided to present him with an additional reward. Jan Griper are a pair of legendary gauntlets that have been in possession of Elbaf for many generations, even predating the Void Century itself. They seem like ordinary iron gauntlets, but Hyredin is still not sure what they are completely capable of or what they even are actually made of. When sliding them on his arm, they seem to be very loose, but only an instant later they somehow fit perfectly on his arms. Once the two bulky men stand in front of each other, their size difference forms an almost comedic picture. But size isn't everything. That is a statement that comes up every time a giant fights a different member of a race. Gap mostly fights with his roars, but somebody doesn't get this huge without also having significant physical power. A close range attack powerful enough to pierce through a small mountain. Hyudin slides backwards after the punch landed on his stomach. Reacting fast enough to bring his palms in front of the attack was already a challenge, and yet it feels like his breakfast is about to make a return. However, Gap is now back to the distance he prefers the most. He opens his mouth and an ominous noise fills the area, even reaching the other four people fighting at the same time. This is most likely where his title, Howling, comes from. Not only does he have a roar ability, but the sound makes the senior officer appear even more menacing than his appearance already does. The wind in the area around Hyrule starts to shift. It is almost like everything is getting sucked into Gap. No, it is not just like it. That is exactly what is happening. As the air gets moved around, energy starts to gather in the beast's mouth. The giant warrior is now aware of the windblade roars from his opponents. However, being aware and being able to do something against it are two completely separate things. Locking the mouth of his enemy was his first idea, but before the rubble he threw towards Gap could reach him, the roar already started. Urgh. Vortex? Howl! You don't need to understand how the senior officer talks while all the wind is coming out of his mouth. What is important is that the air slashes are raging havoc. The attack before already managed to give Hyredin minor cuts, and this technique now could even leave the tough captain with heavy injuries. Dodging everything would be impossible, so his warrior instincts tell him to minimize the damage. Without much hesitation, the giant starts rushing towards the red hair pirate, keeping all of his vitals and limbs secure but earning himself future battle scars over his face and chest. Heh, <laughs> now you are in my reach, you human monster. This is the first time Hyrene gets to use the gloves Jan Griper, in real combat actually. In training fights against Tyr or the other crew members, they felt too dangerous to use for some reason. Right now he swings his fist at max speed, but then the ancient gloves activate. Energy bursts out of the newly opened compartments, boosting the velocity even further. Devastating sun! Shortly before his fist was about to connect with its target, Gap stretches his own mouth even further apart and screams, Second burst! The wind blades never stopped. However, as Gap ran out of breath, the ferocity and amount of blades decreased. Now, with the second burst, his wind howl recovered to its original power. And as Hyrene's fist is directly in front of his mouth, right now the damage is even bigger. That is what the Howling Pirate is thinking, as his technique slowly pushes away the Sin of Pride's fist, even after his new equipment increased his power level. Hyrene is offering some resistance until he feels an electrical current running through his arm. The senior officer already sees this as the first sign of his victory, being caught completely unaware of what was actually going on. While Hyrene's punches are incredibly fast, the wind blades from Gap's howls fly at a speed far surpassing them. Even the giant doesn't know where he got that idea from, but trusting in the durability of the young griper, he let his body go completely loose. This resulted in him spinning around himself until his backhand lands on Gab's body. Take this, reverse Thunderfist! A loud bang can be heard, 
just like thunder when lightning hits the ground, only now it's the backside of Hyrian's fist on Gab's body. All the fighters and also the evacuating civilians stop what they are doing for a second to see if any storm clouds have appeared, but no, the sky is perfectly blue. The second bang a bit later left Citizen even more confused and the fleet of death members hoping that this is Hyrene winning his fight. One civilian from Potra however stops longer than the others, pushing his hand against his chest. With a small smile on his face, he continues running away. But let us go back to the actual fight and not just some reaction shots. The reverse thunder fist sent the red hair pirate flying and the sin of pride immediately went after him. As the lion-like human is zooming through the air, unable to move, he is thinking about his next move. He already expected a follow-up attack. Covering his body in the strongest and most concentrated armament haki he has was the first step. And then he took multiple deep breaths. Hyrian jumped forward, readying himself to launch the second Mjolnir of the day. As his giant sledgehammer attack was going down, Gap unleashed another howl, protecting himself to his best ability. But this is not just any rookie. This is the sin of pride. Even with well-trained Haki, his bones are breaking under the pressure of the Thunder God's hammer. Urgh, I'm going to feel this for a while, huh? With another howl, he forces Hyrene to jump back and give him some space. Smaller howls and unconventional rhythms are keeping the Elbaf warrior active, giving Gap the time to stand up once again. The damage produced from the reverse Thunder Fist and the Mjolnir were massive, but still not enough to take out a member of one of the most powerful, if not the most powerful, pirate crew out there. For a crew like this, it is not uncommon to fight for multiple days without a stop. However, the fleet of death members are not that used to fights like that. And also, Hyrene wants to finish this quickly. The more damage he gets in this battle, the worse it would be for the war against the Blackbeard Pirates. With the newfound knowledge that the Jan Griper are sturdy enough to withstand the wind blades, they now have turned into a valuable defensive tool. Howl after howl gets aimed at him, and he manages to block more damage than before, but the ones that do hit still cut very deep. Every time the Snow Pride gets close for an attack, Gap reveals a new trick only a veteran pirate would be so crafty. Howls to increase his speed, howls to make him dodge, howls for defense, howls for attack, and so much more. One thing is for sure, Hyrene's ears are ringing from all the howling that is happening. As the battle continues for more than one hour, the giant's vision starts to get blurry. The blood loss from all the wounds has finally reached a point where even his gigantic body feels it. His punches are becoming less accurate, his speed is dropping, even his falls are stopping from time to time. Gap doesn't miss opportunities like that, and his wind blades take out a huge chunk of Hyrene's left stomach area. Massive scream leaves his mouth from all the pain. Even his willpower isn't enough to suppress his hurt voice. As always, the Haki of the Sin of Pride improved tremendously in this battle. Gap is already close to his prime, but Hyrdean's potential is unknown. However, it isn't like the senior officer isn't feeling any pain either. After the two massive hits and multiple minor ones, he is also on his last leg. Just one more good attack from either side will finish this battle. One thing is for sure. Hyrene has learned the importance of equipment and also matchups. He always struggles against opponents who are mainly using ranged attacks. That's why Ulru from the Einheria is one of his most disliked opponents from Elbaf, and he is yet to win against him. Unlike the Dark Messiah, he is also not a speed-focused fighter. Well, Absalom's speed actually far surpasses anyone Hyrene has ever seen, but his strength is also up there in the top rankings of Hyrene. This combination and also his charisma are why the giant follows the second in command of the Thriller Bark Pirates. Never in his life will he catch up to the movement speed of his idol, but he can still grow in many different ways. For just a moment, both sides stand still in front of each other. At a bit of a distance, this standstill is the last one before this battle would be ultimately finished. Hyrdeen feels another electrical surge for his body, loosening up his entire body unconsciously, and then the ending of the fight begins. But for today, this is the end for Shadow Peace. I hope you enjoyed it! Writing a member of the Red Hair Pirates is incredibly difficult. Not only is the fighting information about them limited, their actual power level is basically completely unknown as well. Apparently they are the crew with the highest average bounty, but that doesn't mean anything for their strength, because bounty does not necessarily equal strength. So let's see what Oda will cook with them in the future, but first it's my turn. That is all from me for today. All that to be said is stay happy, stay healthy and most importantly stay cultured. Pyro. Out. Bye.